Well, hello to all my wonderful YouTube fans. How are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I'm doing today in my room, I'm going to show you how to power this Netgear oil oil by using something totally different. Say you don't have the power plug and you buy something from your local good oil or thrift stores or any donation stores. Now, on the back of this old router, this uses 12 volts, one amp of current. That's what the back of it looks like. But I don't have a plug, but I'm going to show you how to power it off of this. This is a 12 volt uh, backup uh, battery uh, system I made a long time ago. And basically, we have just two sockets, a switch, and an on switch. Me? Alright, now you're gonna say, Chris, if you don't have a plug for that, and you don't have a plug for that, what do I do? So it's the standard cigarette outlet. Let's go and show you how I can power it. Now, let's go and look around this uh, old Netgear style router. This is a wireless G router, uh, by the way. If you look over here, here you have the antenna to reset couple four port LAN Ethernet, your main Ethernet, your power switch, and your input to power. Right, you look very closely, it says 12 volts, 1 amp. Now you're going to say, Chris, if this uses 12 volts, 1 amp, and this is 12 volts, and the current is basically one amp, but let's go ahead and show you how this works. Plug the cable in now, and we're going to plug the ethernet wire in here, and basically turn the system on. See? There's a power light right there, and a couple on indicator lights as well. Now I'm going to let the router boot up, and I'm going to connect to it. Alright, let me just explain. We do have a Comcast router. It is basically the main internet, TV, and phone cable box we have down still. Now, if that goes out, this is not going to work uh, for you guys and girls. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm testing my battery bank system to see if it will power this Netgear oh okay you got your power light and all sorts of different lights right here now this is online because I have it plugged in with the Ethernet uh, cable now this is a wireless G now I can take my iPhone, okay, go to Wi-Fi, and basically I can connect to it like that. Like that, that's my old wireless router. And now I can go to YouTube. And by connecting it, it has power. That's uh, pretty nifty for this sort of thing. Basically, just testing it. Alright, I've shown you how to power a very old Netgear Wireless G world with 12 volts. Now, the system I have over here is a 12 volt battery bank. It also has its limitations of what small devices it can also 
how. Now, if you have different on devices, it uses less voltage, like 5 volts. Well, you're going to need to step down the voltage on this to cryo 5 volts. Now, luckily, this is only for testing purposes only. I made this a while back, and I was curious, what can this unit power? It, again, has its limitations. It's not going to power a lot of things because it's only 12 volts. Two lead acid style batteries inside this battery box. Now, I'm very happy I had this uh, cigarette adapter laying around and it fit perfectly fine on that. Now, let me just explain if the power goes out here, you won't have any internet anyways. This may not actually work for you guys and girls. But basically, this is what I made. And make sure if you do decide to buy used electronic equipment, make sure it comes with its own power brick. This did not. But alright, if you guys have been on this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out, bye guys and girls, we'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. Peace out, have fun, stay safe.